Yo, what's up, you guys? It's your favorite brown skin girl, Yada, and I'm coming back to you with another video. And in this video, so it's not really going to be a book review, <laughs> but it is going to be a Done With Men Part 4 video. If you've been following me for a while now, I've been making this, I've kind of decided to go ahead and make this into a series. Just on my journey with men and kind of things that kind of go on. So yeah, this is my Done With Men Part 4. If you tuned into my last video, you did see that I was really focusing on myself and leaving the fuck niggas alone, honey, like leaving them alone. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing and also on a celibacy journey as well, which has been actually awesome. It's really hard when you first start doing it, but like once you get used to just being by yourself and not like doing those kind of extracurricular activities, you realize like you start to feel a lot better and you don't really have as much to worry about. So I just kind of want to give you guys a little update, but I did want to give you guys some tips from this book as well. This this is called Why Men Love Bitches from Doormat to Dream Girl, a woman's guide to holding her own in a relationship. And what I will say is for every woman, I do believe you need to read this book. Like even women who are in a good situation, who are married, women who are dating in a good situation, women who are in shitty situation, women that are unhappy with their situation as far as a relationship doesn't matter. I think every woman needs to read this book. It just had a lot of things in there that I thought was very helpful. If you're like me, where you deem yourself as a nice girl and you're entirely too nice, I definitely suggest this book. It really helps you out. It's really not about being a bitch as you read the book. What it's really about is just reclaiming your time, pretty much. Pretty much about reclaiming your time and just making sure that that line of respect is there before you do anything stupid. That's all. So I wanted to give you guys a mini update on as regards to men and there's been some crazy stuff happening to me in the universe. So I will do that. But I do want to give you some tips that I think are really great that you can incorporate that or that I plan to incorporate on this journey. And of course, if you decide to incorporate these plans, please let me know. But anyways, update. So <laughs> this entire month of May, I have been seeing all of my exes. All of them. I go to the gas station to get cars, see my ex. Go to Wingstop to see, get something to eat, see my ex. Uh, they've just been everywhere or they've either contacted me in my DMs or contacted me in a text message. And I just feel like God has really been trying to test me. I feel like the universe has really been trying to test me just to see if I'm really done with men and see if I would go crawling back to one of my exes for that sense of security. I feel like a lot of women, it's kind of hard. A lot of women find it hard to break up and stuff like that. And I feel like, which it kind of talks about in this book too, I feel like a big issue with why women, why they can't break up with people is because they revolve their world around that man. Like they... They make him your day in and day out. So I was going to do the tips and stuff separate, but if I feel the need to include something from this book, I will. So one tip they say in the book, and, and they refer to this as being the bitch and the nice girl. They use those two comparisons in the book. And one thing they said is that uh, the nice girl, you know, when she starts meeting a guy, she changes her plans. She he she usually goes to play tennis. She goes to the bookstore to read, uh, goes to the gym. And when he needs her to cancel, she just cancels her cancels her plans to go hang with him instead of saying hey you know I know you want to hang out but these are the plans that I have that simple move is something that I feel like a lot of women miss is changing your lifestyle to fit them in and on the other hand what they say is the bitch which is really not a bitch but we'll get to that at the end I think I already talked about it but yeah the bitch she does not change her schedule she makes him fit into her schedule so I thought that was really important. I forgot why I was going on to that. Anyways, like I said, I was seeing all of my exes and, and that that point, I'm all off base now. But anyways, with that point that I was saying, I feel like a lot of women, like we just put everything that we're doing on the back burner to allow or to make sure that our partner's straight. Like a lot of women do that. But with men, they don't do that. Like I had an ex where, in, in, in the book, she mentioned about if an ex were to go, had a plan to go to a barbershop and you wanted to do something at the same time, that they wouldn't break that time. And I was like, you know what? I've actually had an ex who did that to me. Like, I really wanted to see him, but he had to go to his barber to get his hair cut. And he would not cancel that appointment just to hang out to, with me. So I feel like women, we kind of need to do that same thing. Like, we need to... <sighs> Dang, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, um, I feel like we need to start 
putting more emphasis into our time instead of making our life based around a man. Now, like I said, I always say, take what you need and leave what you don't. So these tips in this book, there were things that I really needed and things that I really don't need. Same thing for this video. Take the tips that you need and take the and don't take the tips that you don't need. I feel like sometimes a lot of times for women, it's hard for us to admit that we have like faults or certain things that we might be doing in a relationship that which is causing it to be a shitty relationship. This is one of them. Like I see a lot of my friends who will literally go out of their way for a man, even if they already have plans for something or they're even already about to do something. They'll put all of that aside just to do what he needs to do. That is issue number one. You need to make sure that you have your own time. You need to make sure that you have your own thing that you do. Do not focus, do not shift your life and revolve it around him. I feel like a lot of women make that issue, make that make that decision and it's the dumbest thing that you could ever do. Another thing with that point as well is like, I feel like a lot of women, like when we get into these relationships, we just cut off our friends. And I think that's the dumbest thing you could do because when he breaks your heart or if he breaks your heart, not saying that he will, your friends are always going to be the ones who are there for you. So I do feel like it is important to establish, not even establish, to maintain those friendships that you already have in a relationship. It creates your independency as well. And that way you're not codependent on your partner to provide that part of the life uh, to provide that portion of your life as a friendship through them. Granted, you should be friends with the person you're with, but to a certain extent, men can only understand so much. Like that's kind of selfish on your part of expecting so much from him. So maintaining those relationships that you have, those friendships that you have, maintaining the work ethic you have or the routine that you have is super important. And that's something that I was missing. And that's something that I'm learning now on this journey. Stay with me. Like I said, um, this is a very educational video. <laughs> this is very educational just on some things that I um, have learned. Another thing that I've learned while seeing my freaking exes over and over again is that silence is key. Like in the in the book, it mentions it a million times how not communicating and not keeping that line open with a man is very important because men are hunters. <laughs> men and that's how they describe them in the book as well which is very true men are hunters like men will hunt men will wait they'll they'll wait in the bushes for years later when you're feeling down in the dumps and then they'll attack so keeping that keeping that silence with men like is really important and also just being very aware and just because he's being nice to you doesn't necessarily mean people are really good at putting on a front okay and they'll be nice to you and act a certain way but not really um show their ulterior motives so you have to really be just like men are patient and will hunt you have to be patient too more more listening and less talking god gave us two ears for a reason so that's another thing i find myself doing is listening more than talking especially when dealing with men so i can hear what they have to say and i will say i've been incorporating that there was this recent guy that i met and I was I wanted to talk so much. You guys know I talk a lot. But instead of talking, I was just more so listening. So when I was listening to him, he was saying just a lot of things about himself where I was like, yeah, this isn't a guy that I would ever want to date. And I was able to figure that out in the first like hour of talking to him. So definitely do more listening than you do talking. Do not be so quick to give up all the information about your life. That was something else from the book too. Just be patient. Like you, he doesn't need to know your life story. He doesn't need to know you got two baby daddies and they're not in their life. He doesn't need to know he doesn't need to know what job you have. He doesn't need to know you're struggling. He doesn't need to know you're filthy rich. He doesn't need to know any of that information when you're first meeting him. Take the time to know him. Take the time to listen and understand what he's saying. I feel like for a guy to know everything about you and you not to know anything about him is doing a disservice to yourself. Trust me here. Men can fake it till they make it. Like I said, they're hunters. So men will listen to what you're saying and act like they fit the part just to fuck you or whatever it is they want from you. So be very, 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 very careful. That was just something really big in this book that I realized. So that was pretty much it. Just for the part with, like I said, my exes and stuff like just from seeing them I think the universe was testing me to see if I was going to go back but those tips really helped me out also the thing with silence oh, one moment my camera's about to die let me get another battery
Okay. Hopefully this battery will last me. Um, another thing too that has helped me in my journey of staying away from men is I kind of talked about it earlier, but in the book it does state that silence is key and that with men, communicating doesn't really work with men. You kind of have to go, if you watch Two Can Play That Game, you know this reference, punch that ass. It's really what you have to do with men. So men don't really respond to you saying, hey babe, you know, I don't like the way you do this or I don't like that this is done. A lot of times you'll notice that men will just keep doing the same mistake over and over again. And I just feel like I'm too old to keep repeating how you should act. So for myself and to have respect for myself, if a man does not do what I need him to do and he keeps making the same issue, then I will just remain silent and I will cut him off. I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all grown. It's easy to make keep commitments. It's even to, it's easy to communicate. It's easy. Like if I ask something from you, I'm, re I'm really usually not asking you for a lot. An example that they gave was that Basically, the woman had made prior, the woman made a prior commitment with him in order for them to hang out or have a date or something like that in the book. And the man, last minute, literally, I think an hour before, was just like, you know, I have to cancel, I can't come, blah, 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 all these excuses. And how she responded was just being completely silent. She didn't respond at all. And the guy was hitting her up, blowing her up. They ended up being together. But I just feel like that's really important because. When a guy messes up, you do not reward bad behavior. Like, come on, we know this stuff. You do not reward bad behavior. So if a guy isn't doing what you need him to do, then why are you still spending time with him? Why? Like, if a guy stands you up for a date prior, but then wants you to come with him to a bar to see his friends, why would you even go? And the reason why I say that is because I feel like with guys... If they can have a lot of respect for their male friends, they can have respect for me. Because at the end of the day, your male friend is not going to do what I have, what I do. He's not going to do what I do. And nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to ride harder for you than your friend. And that's just being very, very honest. A lot of women ride a lot harder than they do uh, for a man. Or they ride a lot harder for a man than his friend does. So if I'm that kind of person... Why would I allow you to break a commitment with me where I know you wouldn't break it with your friend? You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even give me the same respect that you give your friend or your mom or your sister. And I'm just to the point where I'm 26. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for you to be canceling. I don't have my time is precious. So if we make a date and I'm setting aside that time frame to hang with you and you feel like you could just you could just cancel last minute, especially if I already did my makeup or something, then. I don't need to deal with you because you don't value my time. You value your friends and your family's time more than you value me. So that or value my time. So if you don't value my time, that means you do not value me. In which I don't need to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? So that was just a really big thing. Like I know a lot of this stuff is hard, especially for people who are already in relationships. Because I feel like a lot of times when people get in relationships, they don't want to break up with the person because they've already spent so much time, invested so much time in the person. But I just feel like the time that you keep continuing with that person is even more wasted time. So if you see certain things that are not adding up to what you need, you know, you need to go ahead and cut that off. Cut that bitch off. That's all I've been doing all of 2019. I'm talking friendships. I'm talking relationships. Anything that is not healthy or anything that does not suit me or anything or anybody who is not valuing my time, then I don't need to have anything to deal with you or I don't need to have anything to do with you at all. I don't have I don't need to have anything to do with you and especially in a relationship because a relationship should always add on a relationship shouldn't make you feel drained you shouldn't feel tired you shouldn't always it shouldn't always be every day a, a everyday struggle with your partner I know like you guys are always going to have issues in a relationship as any relationship but to have an issue every day or you're finding yourself being super stressed out on top of work like that's just too much that's just too much so like I said, that's just pretty much my update on men. I've been reading a lot of self-help books just to make myself a better person and also to help myself point out the kind of partner that I'm looking for. I feel like a lot of people don't really know what they want and they go based upon their looks or what they think they want. And this also helps you to establish like things to look for from a gentleman, things to look for, for from actual men who you would want to have in your life. And I really feel like 
this was like the best thing. If somebody would have handed this book to me when I was like in high school, I probably would have been a lot better off. But everybody's journey is different. Some people take longer than others to learn. And that's why I want to bring you this video. Like I tell my friends all the time, like if I can just reach anybody, like anybody, if I can reach anybody with these words I have to prevent them from making the mistakes that I made in life. And I definitely want to do that because a lot of things were not told to me. So I feel like I missed out on a lot of stuff and I could have been a lot better person. So definitely hope this was helpful. Like I said, this is my done with men part four. Just a mini update on kind of what's been going on in my love life, what's been going on in my brain and what I've been thinking. Still celibate, still focusing on myself. And this book really just added to my game as to knowing I kind of needed to conduct myself. I gave you guys a few things. Like I said, if you guys want me to go more in depth on this book, I can because there's actually a lot more aim points that I'm thinking of now that I didn't mention. But this video is already a little lengthy, so I don't want to make it too long. So definitely if you want a book review, like an official book review of this book, let me know because I can definitely do a skim read and just highlight the important parts that I saw important. If not, I'll just leave it at that. That is it for this Done With Men Part 4 video want to thank you guys so much do not forget to subscribe i don't know which side it is on but don't forget to subscribe please comment let me know what's going on with you let me know what's going on in your love life what let me know what you've learned or if you learn anything from this video just say hey yada i learned something from this video something i just want to know what's going on in your head so definitely just pop down there and leave me a comment don't forget to like and don't forget to share this video this done with men part this done with men a uh, series is really just a journey for you guys to follow me and see how i be how i grow as a woman as i grow in a relationship when i eventually get one so that's why i keep these videos to kind of keep you guys updated and let you guys know what i'm learning on my process as well also don't forget to follow me on my social medias you can follow me on instagram at yo underscore yada or also you can follow me on my snapchat at yata25 or excuse me yata underscore 25 because there you'll probably see it first and you will probably see me in another video bye y'all